Jedan od najstarijih zanata na svetu je izrada grnčarije. Najstarije do sada otkrivene posude stare su oko 18.000 godina, a nađene su u Kini. Grnčarija je veoma postojana, tako da posuđe i ostaci posuđe iz antičkog doba izgledaju kao da su nedavno napravljeni. Proučavanjem grnčarije, arheolozi, antropolozi i istoričari dobijaju uvid u daleku prošlost. Uz saradnju sa drugim naučnim disciplinama, antička grnčarija nam donosi priče o organizaciji, kulturi, moći, religiji i svakodnevnom životu, odnosu prema svojoj i okolnim civilizacijama. U Mediteranskom basenu postoji veliki broj arheoloških nalazišta u kojima je pronađena velika količina grnčarije. Na osnovu izgleda posuda i ostataka sadržaja u njima utvrđeni su trgovački putevi i međusobni utica i kultura. We are sure for imports and exports that is there was trade this island with other countries. And there across you can see an alabaster bowl, a very big alabaster bowl. Alabaster does not exist in Cyprus. It's only in Egypt that we have it. They have it and probably the import came from Egypt in the third millennium BC. But at the same time, we have also imports from the island of Crete. And we have here this strange vase, which even you, not being archaeologists, you can recognize that this is different, exactly different than the others. This is a Cretan vase of about 2000 before Christ. So there was always a connection between these vases. Uh, between, uh, uh, between these places, and with Egypt, and with Crete, and obviously with the Syria and Palestinian coast. Na Kritu, kao i u ostalim zemljama Mediterana, glina se koristila od davnina. Među iskupinama i u pećinama Krita otkriven je veliki broj posuda divnih boja i ukrasa. Sa crteža kojima su ukrašene posude, vidi se da su plemići i plemkinje minojske civilizacije voljeli da se doteruju i uživaju u dobrom vinu. So in the Minoan times in the time at the time that we had the old palaces so around 2000 before Christ we have this lovely style that we call Kamaraik. That Kamaraik style has the name from a cave called Camares and which was a very important sanctuary of the Minoan times opposite the palace of Festos, which is in the south coast of Crete, in the middle of Crete. So because archaeologists found lovely colors and beautiful designs in that cave for the very first time, they gave the name Camaraic style of Aces. But the best, of course, are coming from palaces. The lovely crater that you see with the flowers in relief comes from the palace of Festos. It's from the old palace period, 2000 before Christ, though. And the flowers in relief show that the wine that was probably there had a lovely perfume. We call crater the vase that we mix water with wine. So drinking wine, we don't get drunk. From the very well-known ones are the jars, this big, jars that we still make on the island of Crete and we still use them on, the sac on exactly the same way. On exactly the same way that they were made in the Minoan times, we do them today. If you go in the countryside, you're going to see in the houses of the people that uh, they still have their olive oil inside there. So going in one of the villages today that we make the pottery, you're going to see the way that the Minoans were making exactly the same thing.
Selo Margarites je poznato po Grnčariji, a kažu da se obradom gline ovdašnje stanovništvo bavi još kada su prvi ljudi naselili krit. Kalos irtate sto horjo mas es Margarites, ina na paradosia ko horjo tis tiramitis. Φτιάχνουμε εδώ και πολλά χρόνια ε, κεραμικά γιατί εδώ έχουμε πολύ καλό χώμα. Εδώ στην Κρήτη την τέχνη, αυτή την κεραμική τέχνη συνήθως τη μαθαίνουν τα παιδιά από τους γονείς τους και αυτή από τους δικούς τους γονείς είναι μια σαν οικογενειακή ε, πάπου προς πάπου. Ε, υπάρχουν δείγματα κεραμική ε, τέχνης από τη Μινοϊκή εποχή, 3.000 ε, χρόνια πριν. Προ Χριστού, ε, ότι οι άνθρωποι έφτιαχναν κεραμικά για χρήση ε, γιατί το χώμα ήταν ένα πολύ καλό και εύκολο υλικό στο να κατασκευάσουν ε, χειροποίητα ε, αγγεία. Τα μεγάλα και τα μικρά κεραμικά τα φτιάχνουμε στον τροχό που είδατε. Ε, τα μεγάλα βέβαια έχουν μία κάπως διαφορετικά. Τα φτιάχνουμε στον τροχό αλλά κομμάτι κομπα, κομμάτι. Κάθε κομμάτι είναι τόσο περίπου ύψος που βλέπετε. Φτιάχνουμε το πρώτο μέρος, περιμένουμε να στεγνώσει, να σταθεροποιηθεί και συνεχίζουμε για το δεύτερο. Izrada velikih čupova, kapaciteta i do 500 kg, fascinirala je arheologe. To je pre svega moguće zbog umešnosti majstora, ali i zbog kvaliteta gline sa planine Psiloritis. This village is a pottery center from the ancient time because of the special clay that we have on the mountain over the village. So the clay, the raw material is like this, looks like a stone. Mm -hmm. But when we put it in the water, it becomes soft. Mm -hmm. So like this, we take it from the mountain. Uh, and we put it in big tanks with water for one night to become soft. soft yeah. We yeah, clean yes. it very well and we, after uh, we leave it for many days under the sun to become uh, like this, plastic, like this. Why now, why we go to the mountain and do all this process? Because it's the only way to make um, ceramics, unglazed ceramics, but waterproof. Grnčari iz sela Margarites poštuju svoje pretke i trude se ne samo da sačuvaju njihov način obrade gline, već i njihova razmišljanja, praveći posude koje su odraz mudrosti i domišljatosti drevnih naroda, uče nas da čak i najizgled jednostavne stvari zahtevaju puno truda i umješnosti. I will show you some forms that they are still alive from the very old time. Okay, uh, for example, here we have this, it's for spices, for putting spices, sugar, salt, pepper inside. Then everything stops down here in the bottom, is closed down there, cannot come out. Only when we shake it, only when we do it up and down, otherwise nothing come out. 
And now you can show them the inside of this. Yes, w when we feel it, uh, this is the half section. When we feel it, everything stops here. So, when it's on the table, it's like this. Mm -hmm. And it's closed. Because this in the middle goes higher. So it's not possible to come out unless when we shake it. And some goes up and comes out through the hole. Another very interesting form is this, that we call it the cup of justice. Many people believe that we have it uh, f is 500 years before Christ. Um, so we use it to measure the wine and drink everyone the same. Until now everything is okay, you can drink with no problem. But if someone tries to fool it, to drink more, mm -hmm. it's not possible. Everything comes out. And we say that the more you want, the less you get. Prema narodnoj legendi, selo Margarites je nastalo kada je Margarita, kraljica Eleuterne, impresionirana lepotom prirode, prodala sav nakit i naredila da se sagradi naselje i nazove po njoj. Ova legenda nije bazirana na istorijskim činjenicama, ali na simpatičan način povezuje ime sela sa slavnom prošlošću grada države Eleuterne. We are now at the site of the so-called Orthi Petra, the Standing Stone, uh, at the western hill slope of the uh, hill of ancient Eleftherna, one of the stronger and most important cities of ancient Crete. Postojanje naseobine na ovom lokalitetu datira još iz doba Neolita, pa sve do vizantijskog perioda kada je prosto nestalo sa lica zemlje. Zašto su ljudi izabrali ovako zabačeno mesto? iz više razloga. Grad se nalazio na brdu do kojeg se moglo samo uskim strmim prolazom. Neprijatelji ga nisu mogli videti sa mora, a sa brda se pružao odličan pogled na more. Od luke je udaljeno samo sat i po hodom. U blizini je bilo sveže vode, zemlja je bila plodna, a biljni svet veoma raznovestan. Through we have an inland site, Eleferna, was very well connected to the whole places of the Eastern Mediterranean and we have many, many in ports here uh, from the Near East, mainly from Cyprus, from Lebanon, also from Egypt, Asia Minor, etc. and the Aegean uh, islands. Arthur Evans, who had the Minoist civilization on the island of Knossos, was able to find this place. Tek 1985. godine tri profesora sa Kritskog univerziteta su započeli iskopavanja ovog lokaliteta. Arthur Evans or Federico Albert passed from here and they knew the site. Uh, one small attempt happened in 1927 by Humphrey Payne, a young British archaeologist, and then goes the turn of the Greek uh, uh, archaeologist of the University of Crete to uh, start excavating this very important site. My professor, uh, Nicolas uh, Stambolidis, uh, started to dig here and in his first, first attempt, he discovered the crematory. So gradually he started to reveal uh, this cemetery, which is now uh, a real window to the Homeric uh, world.
many monuments have revealed here, like crematories, uh, chamber tombs full of cinerary urns, uh, ossuaries, the monument of the priestess, a vo very important monument of the early 7th century, uh, larger or smaller funerary marks like this obelisk behind me, and from this monument the area is called till now the Standing Stone, and of course we have a great amount of uh, skeletons because of the use of this, of this uh, site. And of course many many findings, pottery, many metal objects, weapons, vessels and of course many many pieces of jewelry. We talk about a very extended area, about two square kilometers of covered by antiquities. The center of course is this whole hill uh, and the most important part of this city with the very long life, its life lasted over 1000 years from the 9th century BC till the 7th, 8th century AD, the most important uh, part is this uh, site. Poseban značaj ovog lokaliteta je poklapanje otkrića sa opisima u Homerovim epovima Iliadi i Odiseji. One of the most important uh, discoveries was the cremation, cremation of a warrior uh, where a decapitated prisoner was placed at the limits of this cremation and my professor proved that uh, Actually, this corresponds to the cremation of Patroclus, which is described in the uh, Iliad by Homer, where Achilles also decapitated 12 Trojans at the limits of the cremation of his friend. And uh, the strange fact is, as my professor mentions, uh, that the Cretans prepared this Homeric cremation in Mount Ida of Troy, you have to connect it to this Mount Ida of, of Crete, and uh, they knew the ritual and how to do it, whereas the other Greeks they didn't uh, know. So the origin of this uh, custom was actually from Crete, and this was one of the greatest discoveries of this cemetery. Profesor Stambolidis nije želeo samo da dođe do važnih naučnih otkrića. Jedna od glavnih briga je očuvanje prirodnog okruženja kako bi pravi poštovaoci arheologije mogli na trenutak da se vrate u prošlost i zamisle taj čudesni grad u trenutku najvećeg procvata. Ušuškan i siguran. I'm very happy and very proud for being here uh, because we, the, the archaeologists in general, we uh, touch again the line of life which was stopped thousands of years before. So we have this, this privilege and we take the monuments and we give them life as, as I believe. So we have the right to say that they, they belong to, to us. I, I mean, in a, in a soul uh, way. Uh, of course, I'm very happy because I work in this environment and not uh, in a city. Iako je lepo poštovati prošlost, mora se ići u korak sa vremenom. Suveniri veselih boja i svakojakih namena krase kamene zidove stoletnih kuća i uveseljavaju uske ulice. Iako turisti možda remete mir i svakodnevne navike meštana, to se ovde ne oseti. Meštani su opušteni i raspoloženi za razgovor. Ovde ste iskreno dobrodošli. Prijatno društvo uz lepu tradicionalnu kritsku trpezu u tradicionalnom selu Margarites 
na centralnom seoskom trgu. Lepe boje, lepi ukusi, lepi mirisi, blaga sa zemlje psiloritisa. Svi proizvodi su iz bašta ovog tradicionalnog naselja. Vino, hleb i ostalo imaju dva proizvođača, marinu i kostu mandalosa, koji su odavde iz Margaritesa i skoro svi proizvodi su iz njihovih bašta. Welcome to our village. We pleased you that you are here. We have not much to do, no much to show you. A little from our traditional table. I wish that you would like everything and you are welcome. Yamas. Yamas. Na trpezi će se za vas naći planinski specialiteti i domaće vino specifične boje i ukusa. Domaćini su nas naučili kako se puževi izvlače iz kućice i posle je sve išlo lako. Neki od nas su po prvi put probali puževe i u slasti hijeli. Mirisi, boje trpeze i topla dobrodošlica dugo se pamte, duže nego grnčarska tradicija sela Margarites. Krit je mesto gde se prepliću mitovi i istorija. Od davnih dana pa sve do danas, svaki kutak ostrva ima po neku priču da nam ispriča. Ni Homer pre toliko vekova nije propustio priliku da pomene Krit u svojim stihovima. Postoji zemlja zvana Krit. Usred mora, tamnog poput vina, lepa, bogata zemlja, opasana vodom, a u njoj ima bezbroj ljudi i 90 gradova, gde se jezik s jezikom meša. Muzika